What's up, YouTube? Finally, it's here. The moment we've all been waiting for. For all you G-Shock enthusiasts out there, we finally had this model. And it's arrived at some locations, not a lot of, a lot of them, after being delayed because of uh, current uh, world events. I would say it that way. But here it is. The GPDH 1000. So let's get it open. Let's go. All right, so this video is gonna be mainly the um, opening, the unboxing, and first initial thoughts. And then I'll dive in into um, a later video, I'll dive into details of how to set it up, all the functions, how to operate the watch, including um, setting up the Bluetooth and the app on your phone. So with that, let's get started. Let's open this baby up and see what we're cooking with. I'm curious to see what it looks like in person. I've seen dozens of pictures online. And there it is. Holy cow, was that packaged um, overly excessive. So let's take a look here. Here's the box. There it is. The G-Shock GBDH-1000. This is the white edition with the yellow accents on there. Um, there was uh, two options currently available that I found. There's the white one and also there's the black, all black version. Um, I decided to go with this one here after taking, um, creating a poll and most people thought that the white one was the one they were mostly interested in. So for you all that don't know, this is the first of the kind G-Shock GPS heart rate um, smartwatch. So it has a lot of technology and we'll touch on that in a later time. Right now I just want to talk about the aesthetics and design of the watch and my first impressions of the watch in terms of size. Uh, design, construction, and so forth. And then we'll touch uh, at a later time um, more of the functions, how to set it up and how to operate the watch. But here it is, the GBDH 1000-1A7-1. Uh, so it's black and it's uh, module 3475. 7 is white, A is analog. So I don't know why it's analog because it's not, it's digital watch. But nevertheless, let's get started. Let's look at the watch. Comes with a nice little sleeve. You pull that off like that. Put that to the side and here it is, G-Shock. Now, I don't know if this is supposed to be as like some kind of um, paint splatter or orbits color or not sure what exactly what is that supposed to be, but got the model on the bottom there again, the GPD H1000 3475 module. And before we get started, guys, if you're new to my channel, thanks for finding me. I do all G-Shock content related upcoming releases, reviews, um, functions, how-to tutorials, and whatnot. Please subscribe, hit that like button if you haven't already done so. And for those who are regular to my channel, thanks again for joining me. Welcome back. Shock resist on the box. All right. On the box, it's a nice presentation. I like the box presentation. Um, this is a... Uh, Kind of expensive watch. It's a $399 US dollars retail price. Um, on the box you see it says GPS technology, heart rate, smartphone link, 20 bar water resistance with like 200 meters, I think it is. Dual charging system, solar powered USB charging, alternative charging method. Inside here, you have the manual. There's the charging cable there. We'll talk about that momentarily as well. Here's the manual, it's actually quite small. So I'm curious to read, I'm actually be reading this because I'm not familiar with this model. 3475 module there. Here's the uh, manual. I'm sorry, not the manual, the uh, charger. Pull that open so you guys can see what it looks like. Okay, so USB charger to, um, looks like a magnetic or maybe not magnetic, but some kind of connector there for the watch. And we'll check that out as well. Put this to the side. Now here's the moment we've been all waiting for, the watch. Now let's see what it looks like. Yet to see this in person, curious to know. All right, ooh, I, very nice, it's not huge. A lot of technology packed into a small frame. 
Very nice, actually. Now, for you who are not uh, familiar with the GPR-B1000, which is one of the uh, first uh, G-Shock GPS watches with a lot of technology in there, GPS capability, um, touch screen, whatnot. Now, this is maybe a lot smaller. I mean, not maybe, definitely a lot smaller than that watch. Um, but this is perfect. I think they, they nailed it with the size. I think it's not huge, not big. Let's take this off and let's see it on the wrist. Take that off and let's put this on the, let's put, pop it in the wrist. See how big it looks. My wrists are small. I think it's like six and a quarter, six, um, six inches like that or something. It's okay. So first impression in terms of the band, it feels very comfortable. I just, it's snapped on. It's almost too tight, but I think that's intentional because the heart rate monitor is supposed to read the uh, pulse running through your hand. So it gripped my wrist really well. Now I could, Release it a little bit. Now, I think you're supposed to wear this pretty tight so that you get, get a, a accurate reading. But nevertheless, it's it's comfortable. It doesn't feel uh, cumbersome. It doesn't feel any kind of um, friction or anything on the, at the back of the watch um, bothering your skin. As you see, it glides. It feels like it glides pretty well. It doesn't feel like there's any anything of texture um, bothering your skin. But there it is, the black bezel. Right there, black bezel, white accents, G-Shock. G-Shock there. It's got the metal bezel around the bottom of these um, bumpers there. Okay. Lap, protection, run button, and some nice, cool, different, I've never seen this before in other G-Shocks. These buttons here, um, I'm guessing it's A, B, C, D. Um, possibly a sensor right there. Yeah, this is a sensor. Okay, so you have four buttons. And there you go. White band with a nice neon green accents, which you can um, kind of build from the back of the watch there. You can see it there, right? So that's what makes it comfortable. You don't have any access um, gaps that could get your skin or, or hair caught up in there so this makes it comfortable on the, against the um the wrist okay i think it's cool it's got a nice gap here it looks very um i don't know uh robotic in sense it doesn't feel doesn't feel um old it feels kind of modern um five sensors and we'll touch on that as well protection in white there Forward, reverse, and we'll touch on those functions again um, at a later time. Okay, but there's a watch. It's gorgeous. Now, in comparison, here's a DW6900 in case you have one of those. You guys can see it's not as small as the 6900. It's definitely bigger than that. Now, this is one of the smaller. The 5600 is a smaller uh, case, back case of the G-Shock. The 6900 is probably the second largest. So you can see that this is a smaller watch, but nevertheless, it's not humongous. Now, compare that to the next watch, the DG1000 Mudmaster, and you can see already it's comparable to that size. Now, the DG1000 uh, is still slightly smaller, um, but it's not ridiculous. It doesn't feel, it wears pretty small, pretty good on the wrist. Next, we're going to compare that to the DG, GWG1000 and... For you guys that don't know, the GWG1000 is not a massive watch. The problem with the GWG1000 is it's just thick because of all the sensors. Now, in comparison to that, you can see that the GBDH1000 is up there because it's got five sensors as well, which has to compensate. Um, um, the case has to compensate for all those sensors in terms of space. So there's a nice comparison there. You can see the uh, GBDH1000 appears to be slightly bigger um, than the GWG 1000. Lastly, we'll do a comparison to the um, Golf Master. Now, this is a big watch, but yet again, the GBD H1000 seems to be a little bit bigger, yet doesn't feel like that on the wrist. There it is there, GBD H1000 again, in terms of dimensions, there you go, comparison. Okay. 
All right, next let's um, run through the functions here just quickly. I don't know how to operate the watch. So I've got to go and study it a little bit. It's not something I've owned before. It's a new technology, so don't judge me. I am just learning. Mode button, okay. Takes you to what appears to be maybe the heart monitor. Workout. Stopwatch. Digital compass, perhaps. Activity, training status, notifications. I'm curious to see how that works. And sounds like we're back. Yeah, back to the home screen. Now what I've noticed is that when pushing the mode buttons, the response is a little lagged. It's, and it's not defective. It doesn't feel like it's astronomically slow, but there is a little bit of lag in response to the button. See that? Okay, so like compare that to this. See that? I could do this all day. Okay. So when you compare that to the um, GBDH 1000, it just seems like a little slower, like it doesn't, see that? Okay, so just a little bit slower, maybe um, maybe there'll be an update with that, but just a first impression. Now let's look, look at the light, how that looks, I haven't seen that, so. Oh, it's nice, very nice bright light, blue, um, soft color, and I think it'd be great um, for night usage. Now the battery looks like it came fully charged, so that's great. So when I start operating the watch and learning it, um, won't be a problem there. Okay. The band keeper is plasticky. It's like rubber or plastic. Um, it's got the, let's see if it has that as well. It does. It does have a little grip there, a little um, tooth that falls into the band keeper or the band to give you an ultimate, uh, an ultimate kind of hold on the wrist so it doesn't fly off. The buckle here is plastic. Uh, maybe not plastic, it's, I mean, it feels plasticky. This feels metal right here, the tooth, but this feels plastic, that part. Okay, the side view of the watch, very cool. Now here's the sensor there. That's where you see the sensor. This one here is a sensor for the reading, for the heart reading. And then here's your charger. So let's see if it's, um, if it charges by, is it magnetic or is it just connects? How does it connect there? Well, it's not magnetic. So maybe you have to push it in. Let's see. Yeah, so you push it in and it holds a nice little grip. It doesn't feel like it's gonna fly off or fall off. Right, so yeah, see I'm pulling it, moving it around, it's not gonna fly off, so that's good. Um, and then to take it off, there you go, pull it off. So yeah, it's nice, it's nice little, um, has a nice little grip to the, it snaps onto the watch, so that's great. Uh, so you have to worry about it falling off while charging on your table or whatnot. Um, now ideally I think it would be nice to have it on the side, but I can see that they ran out of real estate on the side of the watch, so Maybe there, I don't know. Like, what would be a good place to put it? Now, ideally, I think this would be the best place to put the charger to connect it to, but um, I'm guessing you won't be wearing a watch, right? So you could sit it down like this and charge it and on a table, so it's not a deal breaker there. Um, the weight, it feels, doesn't feel heavy. It doesn't feel too heavy. Let me see compared to, the GWG feels a lot heavier. And I'll put the weight on the screen so you guys can see the actual weight to see if there's much of a difference there. But the GWG does feel heavy to the touch um, compared to that to the GBW, GBDH1000. Um, I'm also curious to see how good, how accurate the heart rate monitor is. So I'm gonna compare that to maybe the Apple Watch just to compare to see if that gives you any accurate readings or how close you are in similarity. Um, so I'll wear one on each hand and then um, do some measuring to see how that feels. So, um, sorry guys, I can't go into detail on the watch yet. That's for to, soon to come, as soon as possible. I'm gonna test the watch, 
run it through some um, test features here and learn it, read the manual, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, now, I don't think this is touch screen. It's not. Apparently, it's not touch screen. Um, so, yeah, there you guys have it. The GBDH1000 finally in my hand after all this wait. Um, so, stand, stay tuned. I'll be bringing you more videos on how to set it up and all that jazz as soon as possible. Thanks, guys, for watching. I'll be back very soon. Till next time, this is Chicago. I'm out of here, guys. Holla at your boy. Peace. I'm rocking my G-Shock, 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 I'm rocking my G-Shock.